Yo, what's up? It's Nick here with Living Rich, and I am here in my hometown. Well, not really hometown, but hometown of San Diego. Um, and it's more specifically Carlsbad. Um, today, I would like to talk about a concept um, of self-visualization, uh, or a model per se, a uh, way of visualizing yourself and interacting with your surroundings. <clears throat> of you seeing yourself as a ship upon an open ocean, deciding where you want to go with your life, with the world around you, what you want to do, what you want to make, all as in different directions or actions that will um, augment you, adjust you, um, embolden you, or detract from you, and take you to different places on this vast ocean that we call life. Um, any area, any way you get, neither right or wrong, uh, just relevant, um, site specific relevant, and relevant to the time and place. So maybe while one thing is not bad, um, it can be bad at a certain time or in a certain place for you. In a relative manner of speaking, and even that, you can kind of transcend and be like, oh, I learned something from that, so it's not necessarily bad. But all that aside, this is an idea that I'm working through right now, something that just came to me. And what I wanted to talk about as well is um, highly relates to this. Um, it's that while you have like your, your ship here, um, Occasionally we get these like sparks of like intuition to go in a certain way, to do a certain thing, to work out, to you know go do that meditation. And um, what I would challenge you to do when you get these little these light light inklings, act on that, act on that desire, set the ball in motion, because. Maybe it won't be appropriate later on down the road, and you'll have needed it to get to where you want to go. I like to think of um, like these inklings, the, these intuitive moments, as as me kind of feeling out the terrain of life and knowing where to go. Um, and like knowing what I need to do to get to where I'm going. To go. So, for example, and this is a very like looped in example because I'm making a video right now and it's about the videos, but I'll have these like little sparks of ideas um, that I just like tingle in just the right way and come from like like inside me and. I have two choices. One is I can make the video as soon as possible, do it, get it done. And then the second choice is I can kind of write down the, the idea for the video and do it later. What I find with the videos, um, when I rewatch them, the videos that I resonate most with, the videos that I feel are the most genuine and have the most... Um, shareability, relatability, and re relevance to the real world and to what, uh, what can help other people are the videos where I take the idea, uh, the spark that I had, you know, while I was sitting down doing something, and I make the video as soon as possible. Whereas when I take the idea and let it sit, um, write it down, they're usually not as good, they usually don't have uh, that spark. And I think, and, and they might, they almost feel a little bit stale. And I think this is because the, the place that I was at when I had this revelation or idea or, you know, sort of coming to, um, had, had kind of, like I've, I've lost touch with it or I've transcended the area, you know, maybe it's not becoming relevant to the moment and or maybe I was just like in a different state, uh, a different mindset, and 
accessing the ideas from that mindset wasn't as effective as the other mindset that I was in. Leaving a video that's a little bit detached, a little bit, you know, maybe slightly disingenuous and less effective than it would be if I allowed the video to come out when it wanted to come out. So if you take this idea, this principle, and you kind of model slash overlay it onto your own existence, you can look at it like this. We all have these inklings of what we quote unquote should do. Um, like for example, like I said before, I should be meditating. Well, just sit down and meditate. Take the time. You have like X amount of time to meditate or put the ball in motion to have the time available to meditate and then do so. Um, I should write the book that I'm trying to write. Sit down, do your writing for the day, let it go after that. And in doing this, it, uh, like I said earlier, it, it puts the ball in motion and gets you rolling in the right direction. Not only in a direction that, that you want to go to, um, it's also the time, the timing where everything happens organically and it doesn't have to be externally imposed, whether by your own ideas and thinking, oh, I must do this. Uh, I hate doing this, but I must do this. No, it comes from a place within where it's like, okay, this feels right to do right now. It's going to happen. And then not only that, it frees up your mind power, allows you to like be more flexible later on because you're not always thinking about this thing that you should, should have done earlier. And the actions that come from that create a chain of events that are a lot more organic in your life, feel a lot more natural to you instead of like a fake tooth, for example, being grafted over um, something that was there already because you failed to brush it. I don't know. Interesting example. Maybe not totally um, relevant, but it has its parallels in what I'm saying. So something for you to think about, just to recap on the video real quick. Um, we're all like a ship upon an ocean, like a big ocean, and there's no right or wrong direction to go to, but I, I really feel that the direction that we want to go to, um, the place that we want to get to, is stored inside ourselves instinctually, and the right action for any given moment in time comes from within. And we, we, when we have that spark, um, it's important to take advantage of it and to go with it as much as possible. And when we don't have that spark, which, because it's not there all the time, sometimes it's covered up by bullshit, sometimes it co it's covered up by, you know, for example, a bad diet, um, poor thinking habits, um, negativity, maybe your biochemistry's off, maybe your girlfriend just broke up with you, maybe whatever happens, maybe it's covered up by that, um, then just to be able to recognize that and to kind of put yourself in the direction where you think you should be going anyways. And I know this kind of contradicts with what I said earlier, but still I feel that it's more important to shoot in the direction you want to be going than where you think you should be going and then adjust later than to fall back into habits which you know are not necessarily instinctual but just purely habitual whether they're addictions they're not serving you anymore and you know these are negative habits and not producing the results you want to um, just work on work with what you have and really in essence that, that this is what I'm saying like you're not going to have all the answers all the time, um, but all the time you're going to have some of the answers. And to work from a level where you have some of the answers of what to do and where to go presently will yield results that are a lot more powerful than having the results presently, but then planning in the future to work on them because you don't want to or you're too lazy or you're just making excuses why you can't work on them.
it's always better to work on the answers you have now, presently, because the answers in reality, they change. What's right for right now isn't going to be right for forever. And that's the basis of my video. So work on what you got right now. Have a good life. I'll catch you guys next time. And thank you for watching.